Alright guys, welcome back to another video of this tutorial series and today we are gonna make our combat server script and yeah, so but first um, you probably already have your um, M1 animations but you um, need to um, add some stuff to them and that is um, yeah, um, some uh, some animation events and um, I'm just gonna do this real quick but the animation events um, need to be uh, one is um, need to be the hit start and the other one needs to be the hit end animation event so just go to where your yeah, um, hitbox later on should start so for me that would be here and then create a new um, keyframe and set its event to hit start we name it hit start and then when it would end so probably like here set it to hit end okay uh, you just need to do that i have already done that but yeah do that if you haven't um yep and then just well export your animations and put them put the IDs in here. Okay. But if you've done that, um we can just start um by creating a new server script in server script service and let's call this combat server. Then um First, let's get some services again. We, let's get replicate storage. And then we also need service storage. We also need starter player. And we also need our sound service. Alright. Then let's also get some folders. Let's get our weapon sounds folder, so weapon local weapon sounds. Equals to um, sound service.svx.weapons. Then let's also get our replicate storage modules folder. So replicate storage.modules, uh, mod modules, not mod models. Um, and our service search modules. Okay. Um, I just wait. Oh, I, I just realized I misspelled him all the time. Wait, let me um, just fix this. Um, this was spelled correctly. Okay. Interesting. But the one in replicate search was spelled wrong all the time. Okay. Um, then let's get some events. Um, or oh, one event, our combat event. This one that we already created last episode. So local combat event equals to, oh, we need our events folder first. So local events equals to replicate search dot events then combat event equals to events dot combat okay then let's get our modules you can actually just copy this from here and also add our server combat module that we did, uh, made like two episodes ago I think um, but yeah, or oh, last episode, I'm not sure. But then um, server comment module equal to require SS modules dot um, comment module. And then like here, we can get our max swings. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, now let's um, begin by 
writing combat, uh, combat event dot on server events connect function hmm. like this um this pretty much always triggers when this event fires um then we're gonna get uh, our player here. Then um, let's get our character equal to player.character. Let's also get our humanoid and our um, yeah, our humanoid and our mm, no, we don't need anything else. Um, but then let's get our attributes like our attacking attribute. We need that. Get a get attribute attacking. <clears throat> then also our um, do we? Yeah. Also our stunt attribute and our equipped attribute. So stunt local stunt equals to character get attribute stunt and our equipped attribute character get attribute equipped. Okay. Then uh, if attacking or stunt or not equipped, then return and so if we are are we attacking or if we are stunned or if we haven't our sword equipped, then we don't wanna continue with our combat event. Um let's get our current weapon, so local current weapon equals to get, uh, get attribute current weapon. Then let's set our um, attacking attribute to a true, set attribute attacking and true. And also our swing attribute. Then, because we already prepared this a few episodes ago, we can just do server combat module dot uh, change combo and our pass our character through. And then we can also do server combat module dot um, stop animations and pass our human through. Then we can just change the walk speed of our character to something like seven and the jump height of our character too to like zero just so we are slowing him down while he is um yeah attacking okay then let's um actually get uh our animation so local swing anim it's gonna be um, server combat module dot get swing animations, enemies, character, and our current weapon. Then let's do local player uh, swing animation equals to humanoid dot animator load animation and our swing animation. Then yeah, we can actually already write this down. So, uh, swing anim, and eh, not swing anim, play swing animation. Uh, get marker reached signal. Hit start. You can just zoom in a little bit. Um, connect function. Um, in later episodes, we're gonna do the hitbox stuff here. Then you can copy this and do a hit end. So our our other keyframe, and here we're gonna set our swing attribute to false. And then we check if our. Uh, um, if our combo 
is um, equals to a max combo. If that's so, we're gonna wait one second. If that's not the case, we're just gonna wait point 0.1 seconds. And then we're also gonna set our um, attacking to false. Uh, you can configure both those times <clears throat> to well configure the time you have between slashes. So yeah, after the hit event has been hit. Um, then we want to um, do play swing and play swing animation dot stopped. So well, when the animation stops. Um, connect function. Um, then we can just do if not character get attribute swing. Um, then we are just gonna reset our walk speed and jump height. So starter player. Uh, so our human dot word speak is starter player dot. Um, character walk speed and humanoid dot jump height is starter player dot character jump height. That is pretty much the jump height and uh, walk speed in your starter player. So if you click on starter player and then scroll down in properties, you can see your character walk speed here and the character jump height here. So yeah, and down here we can finally play our swing animation and we can actually also play some sounds um, so let's uh, get some swing sounds so maybe like sword swing yeah okay I'm just taking this for now then go into the sound service open your weapons um, sound then create a folder. Let's call this combat. And then put your sound in there and be able to swing. Okay, then you can play around here. Okay. And make sure you have that for your both of your weapons or for all your weapons. And then we can go back here. Oh, wrong script. Back here, and we can do a sounds major. So we can just um, go to the script, uh, copy this line, and change. Uh, oh, we forgot. No, wait. Uh. Okay, we just make sure to um, have the same name. Wait, but oh yeah, okay. Um, yeah, make sure that has the same name. Then this one, not our main, our combat. This folder and swing. And okay, let's also define the torso up here. So local torso equal to character dot torso. Okay. Then let's see if this is gonna work. Okay. So, um, yep, we can do our swings. No, oh, we got an error here. Uh, oh yeah, okay. We we forgot to uh, I forgot to rename this here to uh, modules. This was just because I I, I renamed it um, wrong. Uh, I renamed it and yeah, that was the wrong there. Okay, but now we shouldn't get any arrows and we can swing our sword. Nice, and it looks pretty smooth. Um, yeah. Let's just test uh, that with our second weapon too. Uh, sword was mine. Okay, I 
we have probably have to create a script in the next episode that already preloads our animations. But yeah, that looks fine so far. Okay, I want to give you also a little tip if yours maybe isn't looking that smooth. Um, you can make sure um, if you have your um, events here that you have like a little end time for your animation. So I just have here that my dummy is still um, yeah, still moving a bit just so um, I give the player a bit more time to make his uh, swing again so it looks better. But um, yeah, you can make that how you like. That's just uh, how I did it. Um, but yeah, this should um, wrap up this episode. I hope you um, had a great day. And yeah, see ya.